Mike pulls out the pile and we don't even get to see the nest ditto. You know Skip, what? I feel I, robbed. Dude, no, I get that. I know there's plenty of people who hate fighting the ditto. They'd rather no, just... I get it. Yeah, they'd I'm, rather I'm just do the gonna, counter. I'm not going to argue with you. I still feel robbed. <laughs> well, there's it's no Rob. There's that I no feel... Rob in this set right now, so we don't have to worry up. about that too much. It's it's very rare that I in the commentary booth feel robbed. I feel. Robbed. Nah, I think you'll be okay. Anyway, uh, let's I'll, see I'll... how Quick Play Knights uh, Palutena works out here. So far, having a percentage lead. Do it. Play left. Pretty solid. Maybe you went to go warm up the Palu. <laughs> yeah, just like what went in there into like what training mode for like a few few seconds, just saying, okay, I gotta I gotta practice my nair loops. <laughs> Here comes an airplane. <laughs> Ooh, almost gets in with the up smash. All right. Quick Play Knights Pabalu is actually off to a really good start. Catching that back air there and got him air dodging right into the stage. Lands well, with I, an air, though. I think Pabalu just in position. general does really well against Ness in general. But Quick Play Knights also just playing a really good Palutena. Like, that was that was a solid stock. No, I am, I am pleasantly surprised. Because honestly, more often than not, when someone like pulls out a pocket to avoid a bad matchup, it doesn't work out great. Because, you know, pockets just aren't your main. But Quick Play Knight pleasantly surprising me with this Palu here, doing a great job so far, keeping Tony Pajamas on his toes. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he's going to get caught by that PK Thunder 2, and while it's not a kill, it is 40%. That's a lot of damage there. You probably would rather have avoided in most scenarios. Mm-hmm. Okay, but there we go. Quick play night doing a good job. Oh, not going to be able to get the grab, but just, again, doing a good job. Just kind of evening this up percentage-wise. Tony Pajamas was off to a pretty decent start. Big punish there with the dash attack. Good stuff. But, yeah, Tony Pajamas was off to a pretty solid start in the second stock. And, oh, that's an unfortunate explosive flame. Looking for the back air. I almost said catching the back air because I just kind of expected it to hit. Uh, but it didn't. Good uh, F-tilt from Tony. Or, and catching Tony air dodging into that explosive flame for the second time. Already absorbs at that time, but we talked about this a bit, and I think it was Louis Money Bestness at like uh, get clipped. It just doesn't give him much, uh, give give him much health. Mm -hmm. It's like not a danger for Palu to let that explosive flame get absorbed. Ooh. Oh, Good jab right there to catch him. It's not going to okay. kill, but it is going to put him in a really bad position. Uh, I expected the up smash to two frame. To be honest with you. Yeah, you know, that probably would have been the better option. But, oh, the dash attack could blow up that stock either way. Uh, right now, quick play. Knight, also going to die. No, barely going to live. Good DI. Uh, if it was good DI, I'm not sure. But either way, surviving. Oh, that's that huge. Him. Yeah, he catches him air dodging out of the nair. And now he's stuck up a creek without a paddle. Going to take two more up airs for his troubles and be brought to 38% already. 49 and counting on this oh. stock. Quick Play Knight did a great job of getting a ton of extra credit before that back air finally did its job. Mm -hmm. Yep, I mean, but hey, getting a good little bit of percentage on the uh, the end of that stock before losing it. So 76 right now. Ooh, I, I, I felt the forward smash coming out, and he definitely went for it. Um, probably should have waited just a little bit, but I mean, still doing pretty well right now. Uh, he's, just, could be tough. he's just throwing out that dare, or sorry, that down tilt. Going to get a good nair out of shield, looking for the jump in. Tony's not going to be that foolish quite yet. Ooh. Caught by that up air on the platform, and that was so dangerous. Great air dodge from TPJ. Very good air dodge, but the back air almost got to kill itself. Uh, 130, 131. This is only going to get worse from here. Uh, oh, that could be it. Yep, the dash it attack is. will be enough. I'm kind of surprised he went for the dash attack, but either way, I honestly could have just forward smashed, right? And even if they didn't connect, the wind box would have been enough, I think, just to push Ness away enough. But, hey, good stuff. Dash attack still did it. Uh, yeah, quick play night up 1-0 with the Palutena counter pick. That wasn't the first time that we we both saw like an interesting option from from quick play night at the ledge, but mm -hmm. hey, it worked out. Like the dash attack took the stock, it was perfectly fine. Now up 1-0. Uh, a quick update: our boy Brujo has fallen to VG addict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a tough uh, matchup, dude. I'm telling you, like it does not matter. Like especially if you're a big heavy, right? Like you can trade blows with Ganondorf all day, but like. Ganondorf, dude, he just, he hurts. He it's hurts gift. so much. Skiff. What? Beast Mode Paul is currently up 1-0 versus Marvelous Marco. That is a tough matchup in general, I would assume. I'm not sure how Toon Link necessarily does against Hero, but Marvelous Marco just being, you know, who they are. But Toon Beast Link Mode is, Paul. is small and fast, so I think Hero would probably struggle in that matchup, but Beast Mode Paul Maybe. is just built different. Mm-hmm. 
But hey, uh, yeah, up 1-0. Looks like they're one game away from taking a VG Attic, but we still got a winner's finals to go through. Uh, again, quick play night up 1-0 at the moment. It is indeed true and already off to a strong start with these nares 26 36 continuously building up tony pajamas needs to find a way to shut him down in the neutral because that's been the biggest uh biggest pitfall for him in the set this thus far he's doing fine once he gets into advantage state he gets his percent like right there 70 percent great but getting into that advantage state has been where he's really struggling because he's just getting kept in disadvantage by quick play night Okay. Oh, okay. Good uh, back hit right there. Not going to be able to, like, you know, take a soccer or anything like that. But still, just kind of putting that out there, getting that hitbox, putting down that little extra damage, especially at 104. When you get hit by a back air, it doesn't matter if you're, like, across the stage, right? It, it, it puts a little bit of panic in you. But a forward smash will actually catch the get up from Tony Pajamas. Good stuff, man. I got, I got nothing else to add to that. Yeah, no, just a great read from Quick Play Night to close out the stock. TPJ is in a position to take this very soon with a well-placed back air or a well-placed up smash. And he does exactly that. 42% extra credit on the board, though, isn't something you can just sneeze at, especially when Quick Play Knight comes right out of the gate swinging yet again. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. That's a lot of good damage there. Going to take a little bit of a percent back, you know, using that magnet. But still, like you mentioned, uh, magnet on explosive flame, not really a big worry. Yeah, it only heals like 4 or 5%, I think. Mm -hmm. And the way that Palutena plays, you don't have to worry about 4 or 5% being a difference there. Absolutely not. You get 10 from a Nair. Right. But here we go, man. Tony B oh, that could have been a little this scary. Could, I, yeah. thought, I thought they were going for the platform cancel. So did I. Um, but not quite going to happen there. He's just going to get punished with the dash attack. No big deal for either party. But now coming back to stage is going to be the big challenge because Quick Play Knight's ledge traps have been absolutely on point. Catches him jumping there with the up air. Doesn't get the second one. But right now, he's in a very, Ooh. very precarious situation. And wow. the up smash out of shield. Beautiful play from Quick Play Knight to close yeah, out. Yeah, using that spot dodge to get past the whole dash attack is kind of crazy. Like, But yeah, that was just, just great gameplay defensive uh, until, you know, they needed to throw out a hitbox. And that up smash did enough, but up smash back. Not going to do it, though. Still living some beautiful DI and a drag down up air onto the catching him air dodging onto the platform with even more damage, 42%, and still. He lost counting. it. He doesn't have a double jump, right? He doesn't. He doesn't have a jump. Oh. All he all he has is his air dodge. He finally gets back down to the stage, but he's this isn't over yet. He finally gets the back air to close it out, but 69 nice percent already put onto him. He's not in a good position. This is looking like it could be a 2-0 for quick play night. Yeah, man, that nice percent is absolutely gone, and now it's looking kind of sad. 95% is a tough percent to be at, especially with the way, again, we've talked about before, Palutena has some pretty strong moves. That up air, if he catches a Tony a little too high, will absolutely do it. I mean, we also got, like, up smash. We've got forward smash if he's able to get that. Oh, this could be huge. The back air not going to be able to connect. 36% on the board. Not looking great for TPJs. He still has the potential to do this, uh, mm -hmm. but 117 against Apollo. Uh, great position. There it is. Right when I said he has <laughs> the potential to do this, he gets the PK Thunder 2 and closes it out. Beautiful I play from Tony Pajamas. Can't believe it, man. Tony Pajamas really made that work. That's just insane, dude. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, but, man, um, kind of got a little lucky on the teleport uh, on the stage. <laughs> Is it luck or is it a massive read? We'll never know, and we're going to call it a read. You know what? It's Tony Pajamas. He, he probably knew it was happening five minutes ago. Let's just be honest. He saw the script. Yeah, I, I saw the script. I always see the script. Van, I think Vance sent him the script ahead of time. He usually does it just to make sure the players don't mess anything up. And thanks to the script, we've got a game three on our hands, Skiff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see where this game three PS2. goes. PS2. They didn't... They didn't oh, change. Yeah, they went right back to PS2. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Again, when you got two really good characters, right? Players just kind of just opt for going to PS2. It's just it's a it's a nice fair stage for both players half the time for both characters. You, you may as well just kind of keep playing it out. I mean, we've seen this. Oh, you should have gone to a different stage. And the taunt. <laughs> the taunt. I think you deserve that taunt. No, 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 that was a zero to death to open up a game three set. You and winners finals too. You absolutely deserve that taunt. It's earned. Yeah, I mean, Tony Pajamas kind of squeaked out that game, too, by the skin of his teeth. Like, maybe it was undeserved, but still, I mean, a win's a win. But, man, they are definitely showing out for this game three. That was a stock in, what, 10 seconds? Yeah. 
Right now, look for that up smash, but not quite going to catch it. Mm -hmm. But 0% still on quick play tonight, actually. If he manages to take the stock, like, right now or before taking a hit, never mind. It's gone. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's still only 8%, so it's not huge. But, oh, my God. 20 BGM is really wow, starting both... to get this damage on. I said as long as he doesn't get hit, and then he got hit, and then you said it's only 8%. He got more than 8%. <laughs> Dude, Tony Pajamas is listening in right now. He goes, I'll show these. I'll show these idiots. They... <laughs> These nerds in the booth could never do it like I do. <laughs> Quick play night. Yet another up smash. Going to take the stock right there. Please don't beat Great. up the commentators, man. We're here for a reason. We can't play this game. <laughs> I, I won Evo for a reason. Yeah, okay. Evo, Evo 2020. I have the trophy. I'm 20 and 0 in MK Leo. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, back throw. Just kind of put him off stage. Get some good stage position. Dash attack going to catch the teleport in too. Play Knight in a really good oh. position, but he doesn't quite get the lineup with the yo-yo he was probably looking for. Now, 114%. This stock will be Ooh. gone soon. Okay, trading a little bit there, but that back air, honestly. Oh, dude, Quick Play Knight has... Oh, my God. I, I don't know what happened there, but Quick Play Knight has, like... Actually, I think almost every time I've seen Quick Play Knight go for a grab, it ended up being, like, a turnaround grab for some reason. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. It happens a lot. Yeah, no. Uh, that's actually an interesting thing that I wasn't really thinking about until right there. Um, but quick play night. Looking to take the stock. <laughs> Skip, that was terrifying. Yes, it was. But there we go. We're gonna get that forward throw off stage. Oh my god, dude! Quick play night. You just got to go to ledge. I don't know if they're scared to go to ledge because they don't want to deal with yo yo. But like. But Tony Pajamas is really starting to get onto this habit where Quick Play Knight is just teleporting onto the stage. Like, it, it's, it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be costly. Yep, there's that air dodge, man. That third jump that Ness has. Oh, but not quite going to work. Uh, oh, that was so scary. Hang on. Okay, yep, going. Oh, wow, actually caught him. That's insane, dude. Palutena up smash. Dude, the Palutena privilege is just real. See, there is. That's what I'm talking about. He's recovering onto the stage too often. And there you go. Okay, there you go. I end up costing the game. That was, that was scary. That was, that was so scary. Because, like, yeah, Tony Pajamas was playing with Alita almost the entire time, especially after that zero to death to open it up. Mm -hmm. But just the way, like, there was something about the way Quick Play Knight was moving that was like, something's about to happen. Something 